Today, we go and explore Onion Creek Trail. Stay tuned, guys. Welcome to Exploration Overland. My name is Zach and we are doing Onion Creek Trail right now, guys, and this is gonna be fun. It's only rated at a three. It's supposed to be super scenic and mother nature is not playing nice. <laughs> she wants to be really, really windy, but right off to the side, right there is the trail. Now we have entered the trail just a little bit just because that is a very populated trail at the moment. Popular, there's tons of vehicles. I've seen a lot of people so far. But this is what we are going to tackle. Uh, earlier today, in the video that you saw before this, we did Dome Plateau. That was so much fun. Now we're out here, we're going to tackle this trail. We're going to go find an awesome campsite for the night. That's the goal. And just have a good time, guys. This has been so beautiful of a drive. This creek, we just cross it constantly. It has been so, so nice. But like I said, there have been a lot of people out here and they do not go you know, quite at a nice measurable pace there. They act like these water crossings are something from the Ozarks and they need a snorkel or something because they crawl through them like, oh my goodness, but it's all right. We're gonna have fun anyways, but this is how it's been. Also, I've had to do some trail repairs. <laughs> After doing Dome, Pla Dome Plateau and driving over here to the beginning of Onion Creek, I had to tighten up a few bolts because some things came loose. I was feeling it in the steering. It wasn't the steering box, it was just some of the components. I had to zip tie the brake lines back uh, because the little like rubber holders from the suspension lift, the little things that come to hold them, kind of crap and worn out, so I zip tied them to it. I had to fix the fridge light a little bit. Oh, I had a whole slew of things before I could get here. <laughs> and now that we're here, we're gonna have some fun. So let's get on the trail. Holy crap, I've seen so many people, people seem to just not give a shit about trail etiquette, and I'm gonna use that word because they just don't seem to care at all. It's ridiculous, I absolutely mean it. But boy, is it pretty out here. Despite that, it is super, super pretty out here. I have to give it that. Man, I bet this will be beautiful in the morning. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna keep trucking along here. And if I can find a place that I can pull off, because right now this is very much a like, two, you know, you can go off two both ways, but there's been no real pullouts at the moment. So once I find an area I can just pull off to the side, I'll show you guys the creek more. Uh, it's, it's hard to just stop and try and do other filming because of how busy this has been so far.
<laughs> it's either one or the other, right? But it is absolutely gorgeous in here. I cannot believe it. Wow. Just look at all this, guys. trails camera gear starts to starts to you know die so things are charging and I'm switching them off as I go and once this opens up a little bit more I'll be able to fly the drone again it was getting a little hairy flying the drone through there because I had people come in my direction people were coming up behind me I couldn't really see the drone but boy it is awesome in here absolutely beautiful you guys need to come check this out. I'm gonna keep telling you it's beautiful the whole time, but Onion Creek Trail, though it's super easy and it's very, very crowded, like very crowded, is it is worth it. It's a nice little drive, especially in the afternoon. Having done the hard trail this morning, the harder trail, I should say, and then coming to do this, this is just, it's a nice, relaxing drive on a trail, getting to see some awesome scenery. It's a great way to start closing out the day, yeah? Now we just gotta, once we get out of this area, we'll be able to go and find camp. Got some places marked out. Hopefully, one, we can camp there like always, and two, it'll be worth it. So, let's go find out.
All right, this right here, this whole area right behind me and right behind the camera, which I'll show you guys, is called the Fissure Valley. And it's pretty cool. It's just all open grasslands. Now we came up, up on top of where Onion Creek is, but we are still way lower than where Top of the World is. Top of the World's back over there. Onion Creek is right over there. But this is the Fissure Valley. And you can tell this is just where cows graze. This is a nice little flash flood area at times, but it is just open flat. It is super lush and green. And then right behind you guys, let me turn you. Let's see, can I get you all to see it? Woo! We got all these towering rock structures. Towering rock structures around. It is. It is really pretty down here. And this is just one of the few little little points that you can come and check out. You, people have camped over here. Um, you weren't supposed to camp in Onion Creek. There's tons of signs to say no camping, BLM signs to say no camping beyond this point. Now up on top here, those rules are a little bit different because people obviously have camped up here. But yeah. All right, guys, we still got more of the sea. Let's get going. What a day on that trail, huh? Now don't get me wrong, though this is the Onion Creek Trail, I have conquered two different trail systems today. And technically, we're no longer on Onion Creek. We are just north of it. We passed that Fissure Valley. Rose Garden Hill is right over there, honestly. And we're camped here. Camp is pretty cool. I got camp all set up. There's the Jeep, tent, I got decent view I'm not too shabby about got this view here I got the San Juan mountains back there in the distance hopefully y'all can see them if not here let me move you I think that tree's blocking them Boop. there you go should be right there for you more pretty view dead tree that's gonna become campfire wood because I want a campfire but that is it for this video thank you all so much for joining me Onion Creek is so beautiful. If you haven't gone down it before, go check it out. Now, before I completely close out the video, when you get to the end of Onion Creek, it forks off. I went to the left towards the Fisher Valley, things like that. It is doable. It doesn't just all go to the Rose Garden Hill that you need a massive modification for. This is doable. If you go to the right, it does lead you toward the National Forest and private property. Now, everybody that passed me on the way out, I saw them coming back as I was going out still. So I don't know if that private property, like the owner wasn't letting people pass or if access to the National Forest was blocked off. I have no idea. Or people were just for a drive through Onion Creek. I do not know, but it, everybody seemed to turn around. I didn't investigate, I came this way. But once again, thank you all for joining me. I had so much fun. The rest of this adventure and what happens here at camp, be coming out in just a couple more weeks you'll get the full shindig i promise you guys but thank you all for joining me go ahead hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button you guys are what makes this channel happen and my goal of 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year we are slowly slowly working it there and i very much appreciate it also a link in the description for parts that are on that thing right there as well as links to my other social media accounts are in the description below. Go ahead and check them out, guys. And like always, a link to my Patreon account if you would like more exclusive content, earlier access to certain things. That is where you'll be able to find it if you would like to support me there. It is greatly appreciated as well. But thank you all for joining me today, and I'll catch you all next time. Still out here in Moab. 
but on the trails.